Now we talk about money. Money, money, money. And you hear so much about money. It kind of bothers me to see people selling books. All, all the evangelists are out peddling books and tapes. All of our gospel singers are out peddling tapes. And we make a house of merchandise out of a house of prayer. I never did believe in that. Never did let our church sell anything. They, uh, we didn't have any rummage sales. We didn't have any pancake sales. We didn't have any cake bakes. We never had anything like that. I always told my people, church people ought to support the church. We're not going into competition with the bakery or with a secondhand store. Our business is winning people to Jesus Christ. It's not raising money. We're not in the money raising business. We're in the soul saving business. And if we'll stay in the soul saving business, the people in God will provide the necessary funds in order to do God's work. If we worried half as much about souls as we do money in our churches, we'd all be a whole lot better off, in my opinion. So we've never sold anything, never peddled anything, never tried to get rich. I remember on one occasion, I'm going to give this, not to try and tell you that I'm anything special, but just to let you see how God works. We were in building program once and we needed some money fast. I had a car paid for. I went out in the bank borrowed all the money I could on that car and put it in the building fund. And that was good. And uh, some years later, I had another car paid for. And we were building again. And we need some money quick. I went down and mortgaged my car. Got all of my, borrowed all the money I could on it, put it in the building fund. Down through the years, I've had something happen to me. It's good. Well, I drove a nice, beautiful, wonderful Oldsmobile, Starfire Oldsmobile up there in front of the church. One time years ago when we were down on 6th Avenue, he was a plumber from Henderson, Texas. He was up here doing contracting. Came to our church, got him set straightened out with God. And he said, here's the title and the keys to that Starfire Oldsmobile out there. You need a new car. And then, just three or four years ago, another friend of mine here drove up here with the Pontiac Parisiani. Said, you need a new car. That old car you've got is just not any good anymore. And he gave me the keys and the title to the Pontiac Parisienne, which sits in my garage now. And I say that just to say this. I got paid off by God, who impressed upon my friends, for those cars that I had mortgaged. I not only got paid off, I got paid off with good interest. And I got new cars for old cars. And that uh, just is an indication to me as to how God takes care of his people. I can honestly say I've never been greedy after filthy lucre. I've never thought that Jesus would go around trying to get a big salary. I've never allowed any church to even talk to me about money. On occasions, I've told them, don't give me any more salary. I'm living and getting along fine. And let's get out here and build another mission somewhere, which we did. I've never had much money in all the years in which I have been preaching the gospel. 
I'm trying to win souls to Jesus Christ. I've never had a big salary. I have the largest evangelical church in all of Alaska. And yet, my salary never amounted with all of the fringe benefits. Never amounted but to about $19,000 a year. And I'm not saying that to say that I've made any sacrifices at all. I'm saying that to say this. I've always had in my mind that Jesus and Paul and Peter, I'm the great man of God down through the years, never did covet money for themselves. But they, they were not in the money-making business. 